1991. The, uh, the average blast size went up from 300,000 tons to 700,000 tons. Uh, we do that in our firm belief that large blasting improves productivity and reduces maintenance costs on large equipment. In order to achieve this, uh, the crews have blasted successfully uh, six one million ton blast, three two million ton blast, and finally uh, the big bang of all times, the four million ton blast recently. The blast uh, was in one of our uh, larger pits, the Humphrey South pit. It, it was the four million ton blast, mostly ore, and it took down an entire bench, uh, which was 800 meters in length, and there was a, a dog leg on that bench that added another 400 meters. So the effective length of the blast was around 1.2 kilometers. The uh, bench height was uh, 15 and a half meters, and the spacing was a square pattern of eight and a quarter meters by eight and a quarter meters. It was about 80 to 90 meters wide, and it required the drilling of uh, 1,400 holes. Uh, they were 15 inch diameter holes, and these were loaded with magnafrac uh, emulsion. We drilled and loaded this blast in a record of 10 weeks. The productivity on the drills was excellent. We, uh, we kept the two drills on the site without moving them in or, in or out. There was a minimal delay times in, uh, in the drilling. The loading was consistent. Uh, we used uh, 2.1 kilotons uh, of explosives, uh, which is a, uh, almost a sub-nuclear blast. The product was manufactured here in Labrador City at a plant which is run by ICI Explosives. We used to get up to eight truckloads, each one carrying nine tons of explosives per day. And uh, that, is, that, is a lot of, uh, that is a lot of explosives for a day. For a large blast like this, the sequencing is critical. If a row of hole goes off before, before it's supposed to, we can experience cutoffs and the larger blast in the world could turn out to be the largest nightmare in the world. As you can see from the, uh, from the pictures, the sequencing was perfect and uh, there were no out of sequence uh, problems with this blast. Uh, this was achieved through the use of down the hole delays and uh, tight control on the initiating procedures. The blast, to put it in perspective, would have taken one shovel eight months to, uh, to muck out. You have to realize that our shovels are uh, seven to eight hundred tons in weight. They're not really designed to walk very much. When we have a large blast like this, the shovel goes on site and stays on site for uh, several months. And uh, these shovels, they, uh, the, their tracks literally melt when you move them out 5,000 feet for a blast and then move them back in again. And they, they like to stay in one spot for a long time. The benefit is also felt in the drills. From a maintenance perspective, it saves a lot of maintenance dollars. From an operating perspective, it improves the productivity dramatically. By having that big blast, we minimize the, uh, uh, the oversize, and that was felt in the uh, record cubic meters per hour achieved while we were digging. The oversize is generated at the face of a blast. So when a blast is deeper, you effectively reduce the number of free faces, and as such, you reduce the, the oversize. The fragmentation is excellent. The, the material reaching the concentrator was also finer and required less grinding. What we've experienced over the year, over the past year, by going to larger blasts is that we've had less bridging in the loading pockets. In other words, we've managed to increase our throughput uh, through the loading pockets by at least 10%. That is a tremendous number when it's multiplied by the huge volumes that are moved by IOC every year. Uh, this could not have been achieved without total dedication and cooperation from both the drilling and the blasting crews and their foremen and the support people behind them.
Uh, uh, uh.